Okay, friends, so this is Crawler Cam Part 13, Magic Happens. So, um, first thing we gotta do is, it's it's acting in break mode, so <laughs> I gotta get in here and pull a jumper. So, um, and then I also need to reverse my servo. Um, and I'm moving my mounting switch, so, um, yeah, that's overkill. Yeah, it's still overkill, but that's what's here. So I'm going to zip tie the mounting switch here because this is actually where I want it. I realized that uh, where I had installed it, I couldn't reach it. Alright, that was a total waste of a zip tie. So now what I need to do is I need to get in here and see which of these jumpers does what. So it is this second jumper that I want. And tweezers are probably an easier way to do this. Or not. Sorry, you guys can't really see what I'm doing here. So I am trying to pick a jumper off here. with one hand because the other hand is holding the camera. There. All right, let's verify that we got what we think we got. Yeah, so that undid that. So that servo is reversed. Let's see if we could just fix this at the transmitter. So I think we fixed it. Sure doesn't look like it.
know how to save. fails. Look it up on the internet. Okay, so we're waiting for the hot snot dispenser glue gun to heat up. In the meanwhile, we're going to work on some more of this. So I ordered some little tiny antennas to go with the transmitter. I think China just likes plastic because everything they ship is in little plastic bags. And I'm not 100% sure, oh yeah, I'm going to have to wire the camera and the transmitter together, so this isn't going to happen today. But, I have a hunch that it's going to be something like that. I just, that's awfully stiff. So it may wind up like this. Yeah, I don't know. It, it actually probably is going to get done like that, where it's just zip-tied to the unit. And that's actually a pretty good way to put it. What I'm thinking is something like that. I don't want it sticking up because it is going to go under stuff. So, that ain't going to happen. This is. And we're going to get this wired in right now. So, let me grab something. I don't think these cables are going to be long enough. Um, yeah, I know they're not. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug them in. And then we're going to position it. So we're just going to hot snot this puppy together. And that's good enough for the moment. That should get us past what we're working on. And so now we're going to bring 
the servo control back through here. And at the moment, we're not super worried about who does what. I can go back in there. So we're gonna, let me get some small zip ties. there and I'm gonna fasten the wiring loom out of the way remember this doesn't have to be pretty this is not a show truck nor do I want it to be pretty because this is a tool the ever-present Harbor Freight zip tie. Okay, so at this point, we're going to have to power it up and see what does what. And I'm going to guess that the shorter cable is channel 4. And that would be wrong. And I can't see anything, so I'm going to get in here with my flashlight. That looks good there. us a gimbal. Let me show you what we got. So, we've got to set that up, because that's not right.
the, the hot snot is a viable solution. I'm picking it up by the gimbal, which is way more than I ever expected to be able to handle.